Hey guys. Oh shoot. Oh, Doing a mukbang? Oh yeah, you guys never met her, huh? <laughs> this is my wife. <laughs> Sorry, this is my wife, Laura. Hi um, guys. So that's her. We're gonna do a mukbang today because we have an announcement. And what better way to do a mukbang? Laura, you don't have to whisper, you can talk. I don't wanna cut you off, I just said a very exciting announcement. What way to announce something by having a sushi mukbang? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a sushi mukbang. Did they put Miguel sauce on there? No. Oh. The Miguel sauce is on the side. Is that cheese? We, we're trying this new sushi place, so we don't know what to expect. This is like some pickled onions. It says it's Miguel style, so it's like some sea. <gasps> Ooh. Did you just spill it on my car? That was an accident. I was trying to show the camera. Oh God, boy. Here, there's, there's things right here. Oh yeah, use that. He talks to me like this all the time, guys. It's normal for him. Okay. Is that sauce? Uh, this is just regular sushi. So I we have three orders of the seared salmon and then three just regular raw. I don't know if that's seared look kind of suspect. You guys can see it right there. That's definitely not oh, it's seared. seared. It's still that gonna be good, good, but it's not seared. What is this one called? I hate saying these things, but they're those wonton things you like, no, the gazoyas. Yeah, that looks fire. You don't want to show the camera? I did. Look at this. And my, can I have my spoon? Oh, that looks oh, so right good. Wasabi. I look orange That's in this lighting. Wasabi. That's wasabi right there. Oh. I don't feel like we're going to make a mess. Yeah, John. It's inevitable, so. No, nah, bro. You know, just roll with the punches. So you want to start talking or you want to start eating first? Oh, uh, we have to eat. We have to prepare our food. Oh, show them what you eat your sushi with, weirdo. A spoon. <laughs> so this okay. is a smoked salmon roll. And then this is the amazing roll. It's good. Is it? Mm hmm I used to hate sushi. I'm really picky and I would never, like there's so many mm. different flavors. This is good. If you guys are ever in the IE and like trying new sushi places. This is not the one to try. It's okay, but if you want to try it, if this stuff looks good to you. It's called Sushi Miguel Style. And they have a Miguel sauce. Did you put the Miguel sauce on your stuff? No, not yet. This is Moreno Valley. There's not too many good what sushi is this? places out Abacore? here. What is this? No, that's smoked salmon. I mean, that's salmon, but it's seared. How come this looks like that? It's not seared. Oh. So, our big announcement. Wait, where the? In your purse. Hmm. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Numero tres. Oh. We're Crazy. hoping it's a. We're hoping it's a girl. We have two boys, and we're tired of boys. We're not tired of boys. Don't word it that way. I'm a. I'm tired of boys. Can I get that one? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna switch. Yeah. So you guys know we're in the midst of coronavirus pandemic. So this is not the time to be pregnant. It really isn't. I had to go to my appointment by myself. She had her first doctor's appointment yesterday. Which one is this called? The Amazing Roll. Have you tried it yet? No. Mm. That was better, huh? Than this mm -hmm. one? How and the... then when you enter now, you got okay. a youth hand sanitizer. They have to check your temperature and they ask you if you're having any symptoms. And then or they give you a little sticker or whatever just to make sure that you've been, you know, checked. And then it's crazy. Like the hospitals are like all empty and stuff. Well, emergency room had a line going outside the doors. But like all the other buildings, they were like empty. The Did they give you a mask? Uh uh. They didn't give you a mask? Because I had mine. Oh. <laughs> but they had masks to give people? The doctor was like, oh, you have the good mask, the N95 mask. I was going to tell her, yeah, my husband's a nurse, but then I was like, no, let me just not. 
make it sound like I took yeah, yeah that's why I was like let me <laughs> let me not say that but that's honestly my like emergency last resort mask because it's large so it doesn't fit me and it's like it's hard for me to breathe in it always falls down in the back so then like it starts pulling on me while you I'm wearing mask Chantel gave you yeah so I'd rather use that mask our friend Chantel makes um masks and so she uses the one that she made for her when she goes out because it fits her better than like the the N95 mask you have it with you oh you left it at home huh mm -hmm. oh this is good but yeah so I had my first appointment you can hear it good right there and I am 10 weeks tomorrow so my due date is December 4th this is all crazy. We tried we, for a minute now. Can you yes, get that one? Yes, we were trying and trying, and I would never, I just thought I couldn't get pregnant anymore. And now during this crazy time, she decides to get pregnant. I got pregnant out of nowhere. Wait, let me get one more of those before you take them off, because that's really good. I'm not going to take them all. We can just keep switching back and forth. Um... I can't believe I got pregnant. I, like randomly too, like I just didn't expect it, but I was having like all these like weird symptoms and I, I already kind of knew it. I mean, I've been pregnant twice before. I didn't believe it because we've all, we've had these scares where like we thought she, or she said, oh, I know my body and I know I am, but then- But it um, was weird. Like, then she comes out negative. Yeah, but not this time. And it was just crazy because remember you thought it was negative. <laughs> But I kept having like all this nausea Damn, feeling. Fire. This one, yeah. what is this one called? The big salmon. Yeah. And my sister knew it too. The weekend before, <laughs> um, the weekend, is that the weekend you took the test, right? Mm -hmm. Um, We were drinking some wine and my sister was like, does Laura want some wine? And I was like, well, I don't know. And then my sister was like, well, I don't know. What if she's pregnant? I don't <laughs> want to offer her wine if she's pregnant. And then two days later, you took the test and you were pregnant. Mm-hmm. And it was weird because, like, it wasn't that I knew I was pregnant, so I didn't want wine. But I don't know. Maybe a part of me did feel like I was because I, I really didn't feel like. And you know I like wine, but I just didn't feel like drinking it. You it know was how weird. when you're more when you're pregnant, like you get more like motherly and like more maternal and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what it was. That's our announcement. So we have two boys. We're hoping for a girl. Um, and if you see my Instagram, you know I'm always posting like little half breed daughters that I think my daughter would look half like breed I think my daughter or our daughter would look like my sister but a lighter version yeah cuz I'm not the mother I'm not the, she just, I'm not the carrier she here. just carries it mm. all the all the kids look like Gilbert's with like a little pinch of you I don't think that's true James looks just like me and everyone says he that. used to mm. he looks like John John I think he's gonna look just like me when I was a baby and then names. We'll be doing a gender reveal, right? Yeah. But we don't know how we're going to do it yet. Uh -uh. Erica wants us to have like a gender reveal party. But COVID. But because of this. We're probably going to have a, a YouTube gender reveal or on like Instagram live or something like that. Or a Zoom gender reveal. Or not a I'm Zoom. praying this is over soon because being pregnant during all of this is crazy. Like. Did you just dip your stuff in mine? Oh, is that yours? Mm. Didn't even that spicy. Yeah. It's good though. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's hard being pregnant. Like having to deal with all this by yourself. I we had a scare where I was spotting like three weeks ago. And this was before she had her first doctor's appointment. Yeah. So it wasn't like it was like confirmed because well, I had, we knew pre she was I had pregnant. positive pregnancy test, but I hadn't done an ultrasound yet. You want this last one? Yeah. Didn't shoot those. <clears throat> and so we had to go to the ER and the ER too was like crazy because of this coronavirus and I couldn't go inside so, so I had to in sit there. in the car for hours and I and I've never had to sit in the ER for that I, I barely rarely even go to an ER but the fact that I had to go sit in the ER and I was there all day it was just crazy I couldn't even they wanted a urine sample from me to make sure I didn't have no infection, and they made me go in a porta potty 
to get my urine sample a done. A porta potty outside, and this is Kaiser Permanente. This isn't no John. county hospital. I dropped names here. Oh, that's her, <laughs> that's her employer. So we we made. It was Slicer Smermanente. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't a rinky dink hotel. I mean, hotel or no rinky dink um, um, hospital. Yeah, but they're, they're just, just trying, trying to be to precautious be, or mm -hmm. whatever. But it's just it's just hard. Like it's hard to, and I don't want to like downplay what other people are, you know, really having to go through that have it and stuff like that. Hey, this sushi good? was pretty good. Nah, I'll give yeah, it like a. It was good. I give it like an eight. And because like you know with the corona, all these food places are giving out deals to get you to go to them. So the sushi place above our house that we usually go to, they're not trying to give out no deals. They're having regular price sushi rolls. And I'm like, come on, bro. If you want us to go to you, give us a deal. And two, to top it off, their stuff's never even that fresh. Like, you never know what you're going to get yeah. with them. It's good sometimes, but then other times you go and it's not that good. The only reason we go there is because it's the one that's closest to and us. And that's probably why a lot of people go to that one because it's right by the house. Yeah. So now we have to start, hopefully if it's a girl, we have to start thinking of girl names. Um... We have a few ideas, but we don't really know yet. We're not going to tell you our ideas, because... Yeah. Because <laughs> one of you guys might, might steal our ideas. <laughs> and two, we don't know what we're having yet. That's true. Yeah, we don't... She's been calling the baby a her, but... I just feel it. Like, this pregnancy is so different compared to all my other pregnancies. Like, I've had, like, where it's like, I have nausea, and then I throw up, and then it's done. You know, like... That's it. And then she's but so uncomfortable one, all the time. Yeah, this one is like, it's just a lingering feeling all day long. It's weird. And she's mean all the time, too. No, I'm not. Ooh, just feed me. We're out of food, huh? Hmm? Maybe that would work. What? Whenever you start acting. I'm sure that works with any girl, just, pregnant or not. give you a donut or something. I don't like donuts. We're out of food. Yeah. Good though, because... I don't like to get too full when you eat sushi. That's why I'm glad we can't get all you can eat because we. I usually, she orders too much because her eyes are bigger than her stomach and then we're stuck having to. Let you tell it. When we go to all you can eat places though, you keep asking for another round. No. Erica, up. Erica, what happened when we oh, went in with down. sushi with you? This was Wait, so cute. Caesar, what happened? Who ordered all that when we went with sushi with you? Always, Erica Hold on. and Caesar. <laughs> Who was stuffing it in their pants and going to the bathroom to flush them down the toilet? Me and Caesar, but we had to because so you ordered yours. all that. Oh no, it wasn't. We had to. We were a team, so we all had to do that. I was just gonna show the picture again because when it was so cute, when like it was moving a little bit, when um the doctor had she did a vaginal ultrasound. That was my first time doing it like that for the first time. For real, it's usually on the stomach, but um it was so cute. Like first. She said that my urine, I mean, my um, bladder was um, full. Full, so, so she, she told me to, see. yeah, so she told me to go use the restroom and then come back. And then she got a better view of the baby. And she was like, or <clears> the <throat> baby was like curled up, like in a little like ball. It was so cute. See and how then she's it was, like, calling, moving it, around. calling the baby her? <laughs> it was like moving around. But you could still see it curled up in like a little while. It was so cute. The day we found out she got the positive test, we um we told our kids. We told our oldest first, right? Or did we tell them both at the, both same, time? At the same time? And then the oldest, John John, was like, "It's a prank." And then he walked out. And then we're like, "What?" And we're like, "Come back, come back, man. We're serious." So they're all excited. We're excited, nervous. I can't believe we're about to be a family of five. Five, one, are we? Yeah, five. Yeah, we're about to be deep in this car. I have the bigger car. She has the little... The police, you guys. So we'll be coming back here, right? I'm glad the car that I have looks like a, a police car or an undercover car. So the police, <laughs> never, the police never mess with me. Sometimes when I'm on the freeway, cars slow down. Because um, they think I'm the police. And then once they realize I'm not, then they zoom past. And this is real. This is really happening. We'll let you guys know where we're registered at. <laughs> so you guys can And how we'll be doing the gender reveal, because it may be live on hey. Instagram or something, right? It's who all knows so that you've far, told. 
I've told Erica and I've told my mom, Erica's my sister and I've told my mom and telling my mom means everybody in my family knows because you guys know how that goes. So I think she told my older sister, she probably, my older sister probably told my other older sister, my brother. So I'm sure, I'm sure they all know, but it hasn't been confirmed because we haven't said anything yet. We've been waiting for the right moment. And then we told his mom and sister and his dad. Uh -huh. My but dad's. his mom told his oh, yeah. her mom, which and then that means her mom knows the whole Simmons everything. family probably knows already now. <laughs> yeah, I love so. you, Grandma, but you know everybody probably knows. So everybody um, on your family side knows on your mom's side. Non-family, who have you told? Nobody. Bianca, I told Natalie, and I told Ashley. Natalie. So I told Joey Cervantes. I told Ralph. You told me. <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, I told my friends. So and, I really because, and because Ralph, he told me that he was about to propose. And what does that mean? So oh. what does that have to do with... He, that oh, was like you a guys secret. were like opening up. No, I said, it wasn't that. It was like he told me a, a secret. So I was like, here, Ralph. Here, Ralph. <laughs> Take the secret with you. But I know everyone's going to be excited for us. And we have so many friends and family who keep saying they want us to have another one all right so we're gonna keep this is we're gonna end the video now we're gonna keep you guys updated um if she's not tripping maybe you guys see her on my channel more yeah you're gonna edit that out <laughs> she's so retarded that's so unnecessary so <laughs> oh, is she tripping so maybe um you sound like a jerk all right see you guys bye you subscribe right now hit the button right now I like the video. For more project, go try. Dad. Oh my gosh, Dad. What do you want me to say? Hey, you. Subscribe right now. And like the video. More important, subscribe.